let us today eradicate one of the chameleon myths, the eye cleaning myth. Chameleons depend on their eyes. The eye is their absolutely dominant sensory organ taking part in securing the life of them as individuals and evolutionary lineage. In case some debris gets into the conjunctive sac through the tiny opening in the eyelids above the pupil, they developed a special strategy called eye cleaning that looks really odd and when see the first time people might panic and think there is something wrong with the eye. The eyeball can seemingly to have fallen out of the orbit. It is turned very strange way. In a few seconds, however, the eye gets back to the normal shape. Chameleons have been observed to do this quite frequently in captivity, not in the wild. The general tendency and pattern is chameleons that are exposed to hydration methods using pressurized water seem to do it very frequently. The eye cleaning process can however be conducted also when no external water is present, so the presence of water is not crucial for executing it. A rather different mechanism seems to be the initiator of this act, namely heavy discomfort from something in the eye that should be vigorously pushed out. It can be debris, piece of skin, dust, but surprisingly it can be water too. In 2002, two veterinarians, Koch and Coulart, published a very interesting and high-level publication on the ocular biology and diseases of chameleons. While the paper seems excellent and despite almost 20 years past, building still a well-referable source of information, they allowed themselves a very sinful fabulation. The citation is as follows. In nature, chameleons correct the problem by drinking excessive water during rain showers. The water is flushed from the oral cavity up the hoana, through the nasolacrimal duct and out into the conjunctival sac. The eyes greatly bulge outwards and rotate, allowing the water to flush the conjunctival sac. In captivity, this process can be simulated by placing the chameleon in the shower outside under an artificial sprinkler system or outside during a light rain. Situation end. This statement caused two decades of misleadings in understanding how and why chameleons clean their eyes in fact, sitted and parroted uncritically by many. Anyone understanding vertebrate cranial anatomy and physiology can easily see that the statement is absolutely false. There is namely no way how the water could pass the described way. First, the water would have to be transported bottom up. Second, the nasolacrimal duct is extremely tiny and would be passable for such amount of water only under pressure. And there is no way how to create this pressure, as even if it would be possible in the mouse cavity through the action of hyolingual apparatus to increase the pressure, the only option how the water would be pressurized enough to pass through the nasolacrimal duct to the conjunctive sac is the nostrils would have to be blocked. And for this, obviously, chameleons do not possess any anatomical structure. They cannot purposefully block the nostrils. Therefore, any pressure caused in mouse cavity directed in the nasal cavity is easily made inefficient by being immediately neutralized by the expelling air of water through the nasal cavity and the nostrils outside of the body, leaving the nasolacrimal duct closed. So, though published and even falsifying the fact nothing like that happens in the wild, they brought this to attention of herpetoculturists that started vigorously exposed the captive chameleons to shower outside under an artificial sprinkle system, as advised, using the automated or hand-operated misting systems full of highly pressurized water. And heureka, the chameleons started to clean their eyes. Now, what is the reality? 
Do chameleons rinse their eyes? Of course they do. However, the most important question is why they do so. And there is one big misconception that is parroted again and again. People believe they need external water to do so and they take external water proactively to do so. And this is what they do not. If anything irritating is getting into their eyes and they need to rinse them, they produce tears, which are produced by the tear glands in the conjunctive sac and increase the pressure there and are expelled either through the eye opening or through the ductus lacrimalis to nasal and mouse cavities. The reason why we see so often chameleons clean their eyes in captivity is because we are the ones making their eyes moist with misting unnatural way mainly. We forcefully facilitate the process of misting water penetrating the eyeballs either directly through spraying or through forming water drops accumulating around the eye openings. This almost never happens in the wild, as the rain is not pressurized, obviously, and falls from above and not from other directions. Plus, in more than 50% of the cases when it rains, it is night and the eyes are closed. And even if it rains at daytime, according to my 30 years of field observations, most chameleons hide from rain deep in the shelter of canopies of trees and bushes, and due to the fact the temperature cools down and the light conditions becomes worse, they reflexively start sleeping as if it is night and they close their eyes. In captivity, after spraying them with pressurized water, the hypotonic water gets into the chameleon eyes and starts to irritate them. It is same as your eyes would be irritated and would burn if you put rainwater or simply water into them. My son Dominic volunteered to show you what happens and what in fact we do to chameleons. No one ever has reported a chameleon seeing a source of water to go deliberately there and open the eyes, take in the water and rinse their eyes. No one ever could prove that they get, as the above mentioned veterinarian state, they take water into the mouth and transport it to the eyes and flush them. It is absurd and it does not simply happen. The only vertebrate doing such thing is based on my knowledge, the human. So we might get anthropomorphic and want to believe that chameleons do the same for the same purpose, but they don't. So what is the conclusion? Chameleons do clean their eyes in order to remove various irritating substances in general. In captivity, in particular, they clean the eyes so often, predominantly due to unnatural, forceful exposure to pressurized water. So, do not spray water into the chameleon's eyes, please. It is painful and harmful and unnatural. Stay tuned.